In October 1990, Leningrad played host to an event that made a deep impression upon the soul of that city. This event was a three-day mission led by the evangelist Kalevi Lechtinen. It turned out to be one of the most important of its kind ever to have taken place in the Soviet Union. It took place in the Lenin Sports Complex, which holds more than 20,000 people. The theme of this event was God Gives Hope. It was organized by 10 Russian and Finnish-speaking Protestant churches in Leningrad city and the surrounding area. The Leningrad Soviet allowed the mission to take place in this hall. The recently elected mayor of Leningrad, Alexander Shokhanov, felt that the general level of morality in society needed to be raised. He believed that the process of perestroika should include a re-evaluation of the role and place of religion in society. This was already in the process of occurring thanks to the laws recently passed, giving Soviet citizens greater freedom of expression and the right to form religious organizations. I have for a long time decided that it is necessary to use any method to make things softer and kinder. In fact, there is no one who needs kindness more than ourselves. When I heard, therefore, of this project, I considered it not only useful, but that it had to be supported. We need to work in any way possible in order to be successful in improving each person's situation. Preparation work for the mission had started early. All the preparations were coordinated from the Baptist Church of Pokolanaya Gora by the pastor Pyotr Konovalchik. We consider Mission Leningrad 90 will bring a greater number of baptisms to the churches of Leningrad. The fact that so many people have come to these meetings at the sports complex gives us hope. We hope these people will come to the churches after this event. The organization of such an event as this requires a large number of voluntary helpers. More than one and a half thousand church members wanted to help in the preparations for the mission. But before they could begin their work, each of them had to be given instructions during a special meeting in the church of Bakalanaya Gora. The main work on the days before the mission consisted of giving out information so as many people as possible would hear about the forthcoming meetings and come to listen to the message. To support the campaign, a million copies of a special newspaper describing the meetings and the preacher Galavi Lechtinen were printed. This newspaper also contained information about all the Protestant and Orthodox churches in Leningrad and gave advice to those who wanted to find Christ. But how could these magazines reach every family in Leningrad? This was only made possible by the work of the voluntary helpers. They each received a section of the city where they were to deliver the newspapers. These volunteers put the newspapers in letter boxes, gave them to people in the streets, and told their friends and colleagues about the mission. The message was announced on the main streets of the city. And finally, for two weeks, information was broadcast every night on Leningrad television and radio about the forthcoming mission. On the 17th of October, Kalvi Lechtinen was a guest at the Leningrad University. A meeting of the Northwest Bible Commission took place in the office of the Chancellor. This ecumenical organization has representatives from all the various strands of the Christian church. At this particular session, Galavi Lechtinen was presented with honorary membership of the commission.
The main event of this evening was, however, the meeting with the students in the lecture hall. Leningrad musicians and guests, such as Nigel Spencer, provided the entertainment while students described their particular path to Christ. Naturally enough, the center of attention and interest was the preacher, Kalevi Lichtenen. He was, after all, the reason why students had come to fill out the place. One out of four students openly expressed the desire to follow Christ. It was the beginning of the day of the first meeting, Friday the 19th of October. The people of Leningrad came to the sports complex by the thousand. They were received by the volunteers, whose job it was to help those taking the first steps on the path of Christian faith. A New Testament was given to everyone who wanted one. A hundred thousand copies were printed, especially for this purpose. Yet another gift from Christians in Finland. They had also raised a half a million Finnish marks worth of medical equipment and incubator units for premature babies. This was all given to a children's hospital in Leningrad. The hall was full. The eyes of 25,000 people turned to the podium. Let us bless the Lord for all his works. Let us bless the singing and the preaching in his name. Let us bless Kalevi Lechtenen. After the prayers had been said, Kalevi Lachtinen began to address the crowd. The theme of his first message was God, the hope for mankind. I am very happy to be with you here. Your shepherd, which one of you will be this? And I wish that you all can have a fantastic evening. I have been two days already in Leningrad. And I am ashamed that I have not yet learned your language. And that's why Andrew is explaining to you what I'm trying to say. But I believe that the things which I'm going to talk to you about, they are so important that it's worthwhile to say.